Although developments with reusable chemical rockets like SpaceX's Starship get lots of attention, it's unlikely they'll ever be the long-term future of deep space travel. If regular human travel to Mars is to become a reality, the craft going there will need to be much faster than Starship. But speed isn't chemical rockets' only problem when it comes to deep space travel. Once in low Earth orbit their fuel has to come from somewhere. Where is that to be? If ion thruster engines can be successfully developed that would eliminate the issue entirely. We just wouldn't need chemical rockets for deep space use anymore. Helicon thrusters are among the promising candidate engines to power such craft. Now a researcher called Kazunori Takahashi, one of the chief developers, has made what may be a significant breakthrough in bringing these engines into use in space. Furthermore, he says the biggest problem this technology faces, plasma instability, may in fact be the key to making these engines work. Development of electrodeless radio frequency plasma thrusters, of which helicon thrusters are an example, has been one of the challenging topics for future high-power and long-lived electric propulsion systems. The concept simply has a radio frequency plasma production, heating source and a magnetic nozzle, while it seems to include many aspects of physics and engineering issues. The plasma produced inside the source is transported along the magnetic field lines and expands in the magnetic nozzle, where the plasma is spontaneously accelerated into the axial direction along the magnetic nozzle, yielding a generation of the thrust force. Hence, the plasma transport and spontaneous acceleration phenomena in the magnetic nozzle are key issues to improve the performance of the thrusters. Yet the so-called plasma detachment problem has hampered further development. Since magnetic field lines always form closed loops, the ones inside magnetic nozzles inevitably turn back to the thruster structure. For this reason, the plasma flow has to be detached from the magnetic nozzle. Ions, having a large gyro radius, detach easily from the magnetic nozzle. But electrons, with their small mass and small gyro radius, are tied to the field lines, generating an electric field that pulls the ions back and renders a net thrust of zero. When plasma expands, it can gain or lose energy and momentum due to waves, turbulence or electromagnetic forces. Plasma transport and loss due to the wave and turbulence have been a major issue for confining plasma in thermonuclear fusion reactors. Yet after analyzing the detailed data from the plasma density and electric field fluctuation signals, the research group from Tohoku University and the Australian National University discovered that the spontaneously excited waves brought about an inward cross-field transport of magnetized electrons towards the main axis of the magnetic nozzle, neutralizing the ions detaching. The electron inward transport was in fact beneficial to detachment, helping to reduce the divergence of the expanding plasma beam. Our discovery is a rare case where plasma instabilities actually have a favorable effect on engineering," said Professor Kazunori Tokahoshi, from Tohoku University's Department of Electrical Engineering, and lead author of the study. Our findings open up a new perspective on the role of instabilities in plasmas, and will help the development of magnetic nozzle radio frequency plasma thrusters.